Good morning YouTube. Um, today I want to make a shooting board for my plane. I'm always needing one and I'm always planting end grains and whatnot so I'm gonna make one today and uh, hope you like and uh, hope you make one too. It's very useful. Let's get started. I went ahead and I already pre uh, cut my pieces. Okay, we got five pieces here. We got the base. It's gonna be 18 by five and a half. Then you get the piece that goes on top of the base, which is 18 by three and a half. It goes and go on top like this. We have a little butt piece here. This is only an inch and a quarter by five and a half. That's gonna go underneath here like this. So I can actually plant this thing in the vise. Okay. And then we have our two cross pieces for a 45 and a 90. Um, they're 10 inches long by 1 and 5 eighths. Um, that's, that's the blank size because we have to put a angle on here, knock off a quarter inch on one side and go to the other corner because with these we're going to be cre creating uh, two wedges. And uh, once our wedges are made, we're going to trace them on, on our board and we're going to cut inside our board and when we put in these wedges by tapping it's gonna wedge itself so I'm gonna glue my three and a half inch wide piece onto my five and a half inch piece you press a little bit and you just slide back and forth and that's going to spread the glue so now we're just going to clamp this real quick as you can see my piece is clamped into the vise and uh, while this is in the vise we're going to take our butt piece and put it underneath here on one of the sides and clamp it down while this is being clamped might as well clamp this at the same time so Now I'm just gonna wait a half an hour and let this dry and uh, we'll continue. All right, I went ahead and uh, unclamped my piece, my shooting board here. I got my peg underneath the device and that's what we should get right now. So now I got two pieces left over. On one side, you're gonna mark a quarter of an inch and you're going to meet the other corner from that quarter of an inch. That's going to create a wedge. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Once you've done that, we're going to plane that down right to the line. And we want to try to stay square, okay? Now we're going to do the same to the other one. side of your wedge is going to go on that side because when you push in the larger side is going to want a wedge. Make sure it's really really square what you need to do is actually put your you need to put your square down then your block of wood with the 
with the wedge towards the square and at about five inch like we said actually we want the straight edge with the, the square and uh, once everything's tight I want to bring that down to almost to the edge here and uh, where's my knife there it is we're gonna make our, our, our true line here okay holding it tight remove your square and uh, now you're gonna draw with your knife right against the wood on the other side don't worry about it. if it sticks out we're gonna plane that later so now we got our two marks right here okay the outside line is just an approximate where I wanted my so don't worry about it so now what we're gonna do is deepen our line a little bit Now we're going to take our chisel with the bevel up and we're just going to deepen our line a little bit like this. It should click when you arrive to the line and then just flick it away. And make sure you're on the inside of your waist, okay? Now we have a recess where we can actually put our saw in. I uh, hold my saw against the wall I just created. And we start on one end a little bit, a couple strokes, you come back on this end. Then you meet in the middle. And then you go down to your line. So now we're just going to take our, our chisel and remove some of the material. We want to go down almost to our line, not quite. I gotta take my saw, take a little bit more on this edge. There we have it. As far as being square, it's totally square now we're gonna do our 45 okay now we just start the procedure again on this side something that's 45 I just put my board against it and I can go to town same thing with a 90 so there you have it another great project so on that note guys we'll catch you guys on my next video